This is the first of a two-part video special. You don't have to bear with me because this is one of the hardest days of my life that I'll ever have to deal with. So hopefully what I need, because it's important to me, is what I need is help to help me and to help staff of the past and staff here at my current accommodation is to have a visual and verbal record of events to better understand me, uh, my background, my isolation and where I come from, why Buffy was so important and why Willow was so important. It's the actual um, series of events I've just shown you here for today is this, this is the preface which I'll be doing in the second part as well and then this is the actual um, order of events as it stands so just a little bit of background um, I moved uh, late 2014, early 2015, about six months later, like late spring, early summer, um, I adopted in Buffy and Willow from uh, our manager at the time, who got them off like a friend or an acquaintance, so, so I was given one bunny uh, my co-tenant, because it was a co-tenancy, um, had the other. So, but, so, so for the first few weeks, it's fine, but then he gives up, he gets like lazy and abandons his duties towards um, Buffy, because I think he had Buffy and I had Willow. So then I'm lumbered with looking after both of them. So everything's going along fine, but on the 23rd of February for 2018, we lost Buffy. And like a few days later, no, no basically, our best guess is like paralysis caused by a hereditary uh, mental brain aneurysm type of thing, as our best guess. Um, she was taken to the vets at the time, and the vet couldn't identify the problem. And we thought maybe like initially it's a bad back, but it wasn't like a broken back. So Buffy passed. So so when she was buried, it's basically um, one of, if not the hardest day of my life that I've ever had to endure. Because to me, it's the, it was the saddest most excruciatingly crushing duty to try to bury them, to let them go, to to mourn, to grieve, to say your farewells, but you're not really saying goodbye because the bond with a bunny, that connection is so unique and special that it really just transitions from uh, an actual connection bond to a spiritual connection bond. So she, got, she, so she was buried in at the back of Andrew's adjustment, um, uh, very kind of intense, emotional, it was, it was hard, it was very hard. But if it was a hereditary condition, I think my, my point from that is um, Willow potentially was living on bubble time. So I kept a nine throughout the remainder of 2018, uh, all through 2019, and then we finally come to 2020. And for the year, for most of the year, she's been fine. Uh, but we think that both of them were um, older than they looked, because if, if, if they were like around two, we think, we think like one and a half to two, which means I, which means uh, Buffy would be, I don't know, 
around the five, six uh, year mark. I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know what Buffy's age was when she passed. And then for Willow, if Willow was two, one and a half to two when I got her, then essentially, very roughly, that makes Willow seven between seven and eight when she passed. So we come to October. So. 25th of October 2020, um, about a week earlier, um, her behaviour changed. Um, but it wasn't, it was like a lack of movement, but it wasn't a paralysis type of thing like with Buffy. But the signs were very similar, as in it's some sort of hereditary mental uh, condition. So. We keep an eye on her for a week, so we thought maybe it put, like the, the food nuggets or some other some other possibility. Um, but we t we determined that um, some sort of hereditary condition might be um, the cause for the whole end of life scenario. So. Uh, over the weekend, around Friday, Saturday, the condition um, worsens into like a dementia, Alzheimer's type scenario, and then um, Sunday, Sunday between nine and ten, um, she passed. Combination of old age and hereditary condition, and basically, um, couldn't you know I've had. You know, I'm, I'm tired, distraught, distressed, anxious, depressed. I've not eaten properly for two days. I've not slept properly for two days. I'm very much out of sorts, but um, this has to be done. You know, she, she needs a decent kind of burial send-off type of thing. So if you're um, staff from West Orton, and you were able to see the video. I hope this kind of helps you out a little bit. And if it's staff here, then I hope it proves helpful and beneficial in some way. Um, not, visually, not, not just visually, but verbally as well. I have um, a diary and eulogy text files for Buffy and a diary and uh, eulogy text files for Willow as well. In fact, Willow's eulogy was completed um, last night. It borrows some of Buffy's, but it tries to do kind of its own thing, because I, I wanted the eulogies to reflect the time frame that I had them for, if that makes any sense. I'm very tired. So, when you see the two parts, you know, the set, you know, you know if you don't want to see the second part because it might be too distressing or too painful and you can't can't deal with it yet, then I totally I totally get it. I understand, but I hope that some of you will because it will help you. It will give you a far better understanding of me, my background, my loneliness, my isolation, where I come from, why. Uh, no, 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 I got, I, I, no, it was like kind of the fulfilment of a dream because one of my kind of lifetime ambitions was always to have at least one buddy rabbit and I ended up inheriting two of them. So it, no, no, that's a good dream. So, uh, where was I up to? <laughs> So, you know, this, this is the easy video, the first part's the easy video, the second one is, is the hard one, because it's, it's going to be distressing, it's going to be emotional, it's going to be war when uncooked and unfiltered and all of that's going to be, you know, what you see is what you get. You are very much um, a go with the flow, as is a scenario. And it won't be easy for any of us, you know, this dropped from out of nowhere. So we are all grieving and hurting in our own way, especially me, because, you know, I was the one who, who looked after them. But, you know, if it helps you to 
understand, you know, why this was so important to me on the whole bond connection thing and, you know, and, you know, and that, that kind of thing, then I hope you'll be able to, um, it will help you out. It will help you to help me, uh, you know, to understand me better, to understand, um, um, I mean, none of you, none of you ever met Buffy. And yes, you met Buffy Dalton. Some of you. Uh, you know, and, and pretty much, I think a lot of you knew um, Willow. So I'm just hoping that it provides some sort of context or closure. But the, the, we say that, but of course, a closure is never really a closure because depending on how well you knew Buffy or Willow, there would always be a little bit of a connection there. And the bond, bond connection, things like that, um, really don't break. They don't, they don't end. Death is not an end. It never was. So I have to somehow um, get, get through this mentally I don't know how because it, it frazzles your brain you can't think properly uh, at all so um, yeah I'm, I'm not going to do the water sit down intro during it or probably quite times during it because uh, not only would it be um, make the video uh, too long but it wouldn't really give proper context. I mean, initially I thought it would, but it really won't. So those two parts are probably going to get removed. And near the end, with the grief, with the actual grieving process, I'll probably just tell Linda or Andrea to sit the video down at that point, because I think the actual final grieving process should be a far more private affair. If, if that makes any sense. So hopefully I've given some initial um, context and background to what occurred. And you know, if you need, if you look, want like more information and, 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 uh, and things, then, then by all means come to me and I'll, and I'll show you my the text files that I did because that explains it a lot more in the text files than what I can do here. So the so Willow's uh, funeral uh, burial funeral type thing is it around is it basically at lunchtime. I've got to somehow push through that and then come back. I may or may not do an addendum to this uh, afterwards. I I don't know yet. That won't be a part of it. That's just an addendum of anything else that I think should have been said or understood. Uh, so you have to forgive me if um, I'm pretty incoherent right now and can't get words right and, and proper, but I've done, I've done a preface, I've done a list of kind of the order of events, I've done the um, eulogy over um, two pages. So... Um, I don't, I don't sound well, but I have to do it. I don't feel well, but I have to do it. And hopefully, um, I'll manage to somehow push through this in one piece. So hopefully I'll see you all um, in a later video. P please watch part two, because it because if, I if it's not raining, I'll, I will, it will be recorded. So hopefully I'll see you all um, later. Thank you.